This tutorial will show how to modify the classification in an existing taxon name, in this case to add a family that is missing in the classification as well as other metadata. The name that we have chosen, Cypria tigris, the tiger cowrie, is as we can see in use by a number of different collections. And it has two local sources, Arctos and Worms via Arctos. Worms via Arctos is managed externally. Arctos is managed by those of us who uh, have our classifications within Arctos. If we've checked into seeing what the family name is, it is Cypria Day. And so we need to add that back in. And as we can see here, the Arctos classification is missing that family name. We click on edit classification, and then we're going to add a row. And what we're going to add is the family. There we are. And then family name is Cypria Day. And once we do that, we have to drag it to where it belongs. Um, Arctos does not automatically reorder the term types. And so that's always up to us to order these for it. In this case, we may also want to add to the metadata, the author at least at a minimum, and we can copy and add a row here, put in the author and paste that in and save those edits. And now when we return to our taxon page, we'll see that the Arctos classification is more complete than it was before. The other option that we do have is to clone the classification into Arctos from one of our external word services, such as the Catalog of Life, the Fish Base, a whole group of these is available to us. Um, if we want to, I'm gonna take the worms in this case and just click clone classification and put it in Arctos and create a clone classification. When we go back to Cypria tigris, we're gonna see that we now have two classifications in Arctos. We have the one that came to us from worms. We know that because it has the Appia ID and the original one. This one is certainly more complete. Um, it is going to continue now though to be managed by those of us in Arctos rather than by worms. We have to delete one of these in order to um, be able to have a classification come up with our identification. So in this case, I'm going to delete the original one since we have a more complete one. And now we have one classification in Arctos, which has been updated. One of the nice things about using the worms is that we click on the Appia ID. It will take us directly to the worms taxon page with all of the details about that taxon.